hello YouTube, Test Subject 24 here and welcome back to XCOM Enemy Unknown. Let's get straight into mission control and get scanning. I really hope this Karapasama finishes, but Sodslow we're gonna get a mission just before. No, no, it finishes. Well would you look at that? Right, we're gonna interrogate the thin man. Now if you interrogate um, the aliens, you unlock research credits and um, if you unlock research credits then um, they speed up other research projects so I, I think this gives you a weapons credit but I'm not sure it might not seem so, as it's the first one we've done go, doctor. better than expected before the creature expired I was able to extract some new information from it you're saying that thing spoke to you not precisely but when you have access to a creature's brain, certain patterns can be discerned, recent images and thoughts. And what exactly was our late friend thinking about? This particular image appeared in the creature's thought pattern several times throughout the procedure. We've already met that thing, Doctor. This is hardly the kind of breakthrough we were... And there was a neural link in the creature's mind between this image and this one. That's the thing that pulled a disappearing act when we shot down our first UFO. And let me guess, you want to poke around in its head too. It is the next piece of the puzzle. And this time, instead of shooting it, I suggest we try to capture it alive. Well, I'm sorry, Doctor, but I would have captured it if they hadn't killed my rookie with the arc thrower. Okay, UFO technology research credit owned. Ah, so that means this will finish quicker. Um, well, what we're going to do is instead of researching the lasers, we're just going to research the plasma rifle. Unless we can get these going so they happen much quicker. But for now, we're going to just research that nav com computer. How much does this armor cost us then? Well, we can afford it, but we need more engineers, and for more engineers, we need a workshop so we need more money and is what do we have in the grey market well we're going to have to sell some stuff and now we should be able to build a workshop right begin construction of the workshop okay Let's scan for activity. Scramble our interceptors. Um, let's send... Let's send Raven 1 out. Okay. Let's see if we can shoot this down. Well, Raven 1's taking quite a bit of damage, but they managed to shoot down the UFO. So let's send out our Sky Ranger. Well, this time instead of Josh, we have his brother Alex. Josh died in his in his first mission. Let's see if um, Alex lasts lasts a little bit longer. Um, this time we don't have Paddy along with us, um, so nobody who can run forward with a shotgun okay we're going to give you a, a arc thrower we're going to give you a a med kit we're going to give you a nanofiber vest and we're going to give and Chris already has a nanofiber vest okay launch the sky ranger Begin assault. Now this is very close to our base, actually. Now um, this is a crashed UFO, so it's slightly different to a UFO landing, but um, it's you know it's pretty much the same, but it's more dangerous usually if it's um, no, I mean this is less dangerous. The landings are usually more dangerous because um, 
there's likely to be more aliens left alive. Okay, a couple of sectoids. We're going to want to try and uh, kill these if possible. Uh, not kill these, stun these if possible. So, um, that's uh, what we're hoping to do here. But, um, killing them might be the only option. And Hughes, you can overwatch as well. So let's see. One of them's mind merging. I, I don't know if you can t hear the sounds um, in the background, but that's how I know what's going on, if any of you were wondering. Okay, 35% to hit, not very good. We might want to get some sort of flanking going on. Okay, 25% chance. Not very good at all. Well, thankfully they missed, because that wouldn't have been very good. Um, which one is doing the mind merging here? No, it's only 25% chance to hit. Let's move this, um, let's rush uh, this guy forwards and see if they can do any damage. Let's hunker you down, because uh, we don't want you dying on us. And let's put you on overwatch. Uh, you can overwatch as well. Okay. There's only a couple of sectoids here, so... Uh, well, they missed, thankfully. Maybe they won't, though. Okay, who has our arc thrower? They do. Good, because they're the closest. Let's see if we can uh, injure one of these. Nope. Still next to no chance of hitting. 65% chance to hit. Well, we killed them. But, um, let's put you in full cover and see if... That's because they're in full cover, you see. So, Pickles, you can move round to here. Nice and safe. And you can go... You can overwatch. What are they going to do? Not much from the looks of things. Let's send... Um, let's move uh, Gallo to here. What chance to hit? Right, if I switch to the pistol, what chance to hit then? Still only 45, but... Okay. Maybe Pickles can get a better shot. Will they be able to move in close enough to stun? Yes, they will. Now, if I switch to the pistol, Pickles should still be able to shoot. Watch him critical. Oh, good. Two damage, so not, not too much. And then... Let's move them in here and have them stun. Okay, so now we have a sectoid we can interrogate. And Hughes just uh, dash forwards. Right, so successful so far. We're taking home a sectoid to, uh, to interrogate. And hopefully that'll improve our um, our research chances. Okay, where are we actually headed? Can we see the UFO? Right, the UFO's over there.
let's move you into let's dash you forwards okay oh the UFO is actually a lot closer than I thought it's right there okay so let's put pickles behind uh, full cover over here and then let's put Alex behind cover here okay I'd quite like to um, level up these rookies so we can have a couple of uh, extra classes okay some people off in that direction we'll move pickles forwards you can't see them we'll move uh, this guy forwards they can overwatch move uh, Alex forwards and then who's, who's the other guy that's left actually we may as well put Pickles in full cover oh hang on Pickles needs to uh, change weapons and so does someone else or is everybody back onto the, oh yeah they're, they've got their pistol out there we go get your uh, get your proper gun out we're going to dash you forwards as well. Okay. Alien activity, what are they going to do? Nothing at the minute. So, um, Pickles, open the door. Who's inside? Oh, this is a much bigger UFO. So, um, Pickles, get, the, get in there. If you, um, I don't know if I mentioned this in a previous episode, but if you move right up to the door and click on it to open it, that means that um, it won't alert you, the aliens to your presence, whereas just barging in and smashing the door down will uh, make a lot of noise and the aliens will know where you are. So if you, if you don't want every alien in the vicinity to come running, don't bash through the doors and don't jump through or smash windows or anything like that. Right, there's some aliens in that the main room there, as as per expectations. Um, we're going to move Pickles forwards. We're going to dash him forwards, and um, we'll put we'll put Gallo here in full cover, and we'll put them there and then Alex can go Alex can go here so then on our turn when we open the door if there's any aliens on the other side we're in a good position to uh, fill them full of lead okay open the door right they're off in that direction and in this middle room here so Alex, you're going to move forwards, and I'm going to open the door. Anyone inside? There's somebody round there, there usually is. We're going to put you on overwatch, we're going to dash pickles round here. Possibly I should send these two round this way, just in case. Ah, there's a couple of floaters. Okay, so... Um, they're protect... Are they in protection? protected from the floaters? I think they might be. But, um... Let's put them there and overwatch them. Okay. Right, so they're over there. Are they going to appear? There's one. Well, at least they didn't kill her. Right, who has... Right, these have the arc throw. Good. So this person can move... here. 
Okay, 93% chance to hit. We're going to kill one of them, hopefully. Okay, two health. That's alright, we'll just stun them. We'll move them through here. And we'll hit them with a stun. There we go. Stunned. And now I just know that I'm going to go through here and it's going to be an outside. And they're going to say, stun them. And I'm not going to be able to. There's nobody there. Okay. We're going to... Um, going to check through here. There might be somebody through this door. Okay. Now, they they can't use alien grenades yet, thankfully. So otherwise, they were there's a risk that they could have uh, grenaded our hapless soldiers. Let's open this door here. Yep, it's an outsider, and I've used both the stuns. That was a bad idea, but um, oh well. Right, Alex, you move there. 29%. Right, just both of you overwatch. Um, Gallo, what? Okay, you just shoot them through the wall. There we go. Okay. And then you can move round here to help deal with this outsider. Okay. Shot them right through the wall there, but at least uh, at least they didn't kill Alex. Otherwise, I would have been really cross. You know what, Alex? Go and go and take your revenge. There we go. Okay, so there's still more, which is um, a bit worrying, but also um, not not too bad. Hopefully, um, hopefully we'll get like some sound just to uh, show us where they are. I don't want to have to spend ages searching for them. Okay, see if we can um, scout them out. Right. Alien activity. Okay, no sounds are going to help us out. Um, maybe they're back there. I don't know. We'll um, we'll look around with uh, this guy. Move them forwards. Nobody here. They're probably backwards, actually. But, um... Who has the med kit? I think probably this person. Yes, good. So we'll move them there. And then we'll move... Alex... Here. And then... Pickles can move... Ah, so they're over there. So Pickles can move over here. Presumably it's another floater, but it might not be. And then we'll use the med kit to uh, heal up Alex. Okay. So we know the alien's over that way somewhere. Let's see if we can find them. Let's dash pickles over and um, dash gallo over and then we'll see if we can get some flanking going on over here and um, move them round here just in case and then um, Hughes can go here. Right. 
hopefully they'll move closer just to give us a nice shot they might be overwatching so um, we're gonna dash over here see if we can see them okay just a couple of sectoids good so let's move Gallo over here so we can flank them let's move Alex over here and then we'll move Chris here <laughs> runs along the log I like that I do like the music in XCOM I know I said this about FTL but I like the music in uh, XCOM as well it's um uh, well I say I, I said that in FTL I don't know if I'll have uploaded the um, the FTL video by the time this comes out or whether this will come out first I don't know um, well hopefully Gallo can survive a shot no actually we're gonna use Mar Mar's gonna run forwards and get shot at hopefully they'll miss good but they did destroy the cover that um, Ma was running to so um, um, not really sure what to do now but now they're not overwatching anymore we'll move well we're gonna dash over here and then dash Ma down there chance to hit 25% not good move Alex there and then Pickles just hunker down come on then well full cover they weren't, they weren't going to hit through that let's see okay oh um, we can flank them so now we can get them one down and then Alex can flank the other one and um, may as well move in close and then shoot him in the face or rather in the back of the head okay well up until now we've been losing two operatives a mission well we managed to uh, get past that thankfully Aki, uh, Alex Hughes not Aki Alex Hughes has been uh, promote, uh, promoted to a support as has Ma we have another sniper and now we can get snapshot on pickles good good okay we have two more people to interrogate as well okay so if we go to mission control hopefully we can finish this alien nav computer before another mission ah good okay we can make satellite nexus and stealth satellites okay well, seeing as they happen instantly, we're going to interrogate the septoid, and then we're going to interrogate the floater. It's really good that these interrogations can take place instantly, because it just helps to um, helps to speed things up. Okay, beam weapons research credit uh, unlocked. So now, hopefully, yeah, look, that will take five days and precision lasers takes five days so if we interrogate the floater let's see what um, let's see what this does for us 
I know that um, the Berserker gives us um, a armor research credit, but I don't know what gives us a weapons research credit. So we'll just have to see. Basic armor. That's good. Basic armor. So now if we look at skeleton suit, ah, it only takes seven days. Well, we're going to unlock precision lasers. Well, we don't have very much money at the minute, but there's a council report in eight days. And, um, let's see, what facilities? How much is a nexus? It's going to be a lot. 300, 8 power, 15 engineers. But it will allow us to have more. Mm. But it's only, it's only, it's twice as much for a lot more, for all those alloys and everything. It's only, you may as well just get two of these. But, uh, I don't know. We're going to need to build an access, access lift soon. But it costs 50. 50 credits. Uh, we need a satellite though, really. We're in so much trouble. Right, it wants satellite coverage. Okay. Um, where over Mexico? Right. Um, well, I think that's enough for now. We've done a mission. So this has been um, Test Subject 24 plays XCOM. Thanks for watching. Um, and this is Test Subject 24 signing off.